What's up? I'm Ari from Wirefly.com here with your Wirefly cell phone smackdown between the Motorola Droid X to the right and the Droid Incredible by HTC on the left. And both these phones are Android-powered smartphones for Verizon Wireless. And both phones are now available at Wirefly.com for a great Wirefly.com price. And also in the next number of days, be sure to check out their price through the Bing Cashback program, while Bing Cashback still lasts, to pick up an even better deal on both of these phones. And the Motorola Droid X is running a version of Google's Google Experience, the standard Android user interface, although it does have some nice elements from Motorola's Moto Blur interface, particularly some of their social networking widgets. We'll do a closer comparison of the two interfaces in just a second. The Droid Incredible is running HTC's Sense user interface. And probably the biggest and, of course, most notable, noticeable difference between these two phones is that the Motorola Droid X is significantly bigger and also has a significantly bigger display. So all that added screen real estate is going to perhaps make the Droid X better for typing and web browsing, but it's also not going to be as compact and easy to stick in a pocket or purse, for example. And the Droid X does have a 4.3 inch TFT display, it is 480 by 854 pixels, while the Droid Incredible has a smaller 3.7 inch AMOLED display, 480 by 800 pixels. And of course, that is slightly higher resolution on the Droid X, but that's going to mean that you do have less pixels per square inch on the Droid X than on the Droid Incredible. Also, because the Droid X does have a TFT display, it's going to be a little bit more readable in direct sunlight. And if we take a look at the side of the Droid X, you'll notice that you do have two ports there. One is a micro USB port for charging and syncing the phone, and the other is a micro HDMI out port, which will let you hook up the Droid X to a TV, an HD TV at that, to view uh, photos and movies right from the phone. And the uh, Droid Incredible does not have a micro HDMI out port, although it does have a micro USB port as well which you can get a cable for to hook up the Droid Incredible to a TV, although of course it's not going to be HD quality. Then both phones do have a 3.5mm headphone jack, power buttons up top, and there's your volume rocker on the Droid X and volume rocker on the Droid Incredible. And you also have a camera button, dedicated camera button on the Droid X, no camera button on the Droid Incredible, but both phones powerful 8 megapixel cameras with dual LED flash, and those flashes are pretty bright. Although Droid X is capable of recording HD video at 720p, while at this time the Droid Incredible cannot record HD video, although it is rumored that such an update will be coming to the Droid Incredible, which will give it the ability to record HD video. And beneath the battery cover on the Droid X, you do have a pre-installed 16 gigabyte micro SD card, and you already have 8 gigabytes of onboard storage space, so that's going to give you 24 gigs of onboard storage right out of the box on the Droid X, and on the Droid Incredible, you only get 8 gigabytes of storage right out of the box. So certainly significantly more storage on the Droid X than on the Droid Incredible without going out and purchasing an additional micro SD card. And while we have both phones flipped over, it is worth taking a quick second to talk about the design. And as HTC says, the Droid Incredible has a race car inspired design. You can see that it does have a contoured backing, as HTC says, to showcase the internal components of the phone. If we pop off the back cover here, it is an entirely plastic back cover. Set that aside. And it has a nice race car red interior right down to the battery. And there's your micro SD card slot. And I should note that depending on where you do pick up the Droid Incredible, it may come pre-installed with a 2GB micro SD card. So that, in addition to the 8GB of onboard storage space, will give you 10GB of storage space right out of the box. And the Droid X, a very nice metallic backing. Of course, that unique design that started off with the Motorola Droid, the original Droid. And you can see that it does have a humped backing. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of the hump. Obviously, it's designed to house the camera components and let the rest of the phone be very slim. 
snap that entirely in place there. So you can see that is pretty much on par with the Droid Incredible as far as slimness, except for that backing there. But it does serve some utility. For example, if it's sitting flush on a table, you do have a slight upward slant so you can uh, see the screen a little better. We'll start off talking about the user interfaces from both phones lock screens. Swipe those power buttons and slide right on the Droid X and slide down on the Droid Incredible. And you can see on the Droid Incredible you have that nice HTC Sense weather animation, the clouds floating across the screen as part of HTC's clock widget. And really, depending on whatever the weather is doing in your current GPS location, it'll have an animation for it. So, for example, if it's snowing, your screen will frost up. Or if it's raining, you'll see some nice big raindrops and a windshield wiper going across the screen. And if we pinch on the uh, Droid Incredible, you'll see a nice heads-up display of all of your current home screens. And on the Droid X, you don't have that, but you can jump between home screens by tapping at the bottom. So some custom Droid-esque animations at the bottom here to let you switch up home screens. And also on the Droid Incredible you can achieve that same effect from hitting your home button. Jump to whichever screen you want. And another difference between the two user interfaces is that on the Droid Incredible as part of HTC's Sense you do have something called Scenes, which Motorola's user interface does not have. And Scenes basically lets you save your current uh, set of home screens, all the widgets, contacts, icons you have, uh, and switch between those home screens. So for example, if you're at work, maybe you want your work email front and center uh, and your calendar, but on the weekends, maybe you want your Google Maps, Latitude, or any number of other widgets and favorite uh, friend contacts instead of work contacts on your home screen. And with HTC's scenes, you can easily jump between those two uh, layouts of home screens. And then of course the other big difference between the two phones is going to be the widgets that they offer. So Motorola offers some very nice Motorola custom widgets in addition to the Android widgets. So you can see some of those Motorola custom widgets there. And elements from Motorola's Moto Blur. And as you may know, Moto Blur is really centered upon social networking. So very nice social networking integration. You can flip through all of your various friends' status updates. You can comment on those updates, view their photo albums, and even like an update. And you also have a dedicated widget to easily update your status across all of your installed social networks. And on the Droid Incredible, you also get some nice social networking widgets. You, of course, have your standard Facebook Android widget, but you also have something called Friendstream, which lets you easily flip through all of your friends' updates across Facebook and Twitter, and also share your own updates right from the widget. You can also choose to go full screen, and you'll have this slider menu at the bottom, which you'll see across a lot of the interfaces within Sense. So you can see uh, updates, only status updates from your uh, contacts only updates with links, and only updates with photos. And I also have set up a favorites widget. If you want a uh, video of all the many widgets available as part of uh, HTC's Sense user interface, you can head over to our YouTube channel. A nice video there that uh, goes through all of them, pretty much. So your favorites widget, you can set up to uh, tap on a contact's photo and have a preset action happen. So if we tap on George Bush, we have it set to call George Bush. Same, with, same thing with Barack Obama, a bipartisan favorites list here. So that'll call him at a fake phone number, of course. And if we tap on the name of a contact, we can see all of that contact's information, any recent text messages with that contact, any recent emails, status updates across their social networks, so you can link all of your contacts in with their Facebook profiles, their Twitter profiles, and also any photo updates. So link them in with uh, Flickr, and also see their photo updates directly within Sense without having to open up a browser window. And then you also have call history. We'll get into our app menus real quick. And again, because both phones are Android-powered smartphones, they do function pretty much the same way and offer the same capabilities. You have access to the Android market on both phones for downloading thousands more free and paid applications. 
You have Google Maps with navigation for free, turn-by-turn -turn voice-guided GPS directions, Skype support. So all in all, very similar as far as their capabilities, although Sense does provide some additional customization options, certainly. But one of the big differences at the time of this review is the ability to use the Droid X as a 3G mobile hotspot. So you'll be able to uh, hook up up to five Wi-Fi enabled devices to share the Droid X's internet connection. And the Droid Incredible right now does not have that capability. But if we get back to our home screens, we'll kill the running apps on both phones and fire up a web browser. And we'll head over to wirefly.com, which is a very complex page. Bring these keyboards side by side so you can see that there is quite a size difference, of course, as far as the keyboard sizes go. And we'll do a quick speed test to see which phone does a better job loading up web pages faster rendering those pages. And we are connected to the same Wi-Fi network on both phones. So we'll choose a page that neither phone has been to. You can see that our flash banner did load up nicely there. Do a quick comparison of our uh, pinch to zoom there. Both phones very smooth pinch to zoom. If we do bring them into landscape mode, you can see that difference as far as screen real estate goes. So it'll definitely make a pretty big difference when you're web browsing. Certainly a better browsing and movie watching experience on the Droid X than on the Droid Incredible. I'll also show you that keyboard in landscape mode as well. So there's that difference there. We'll zoom into a link that neither phone has been to yet. Take a look at upgrades. Zoom in nice and big so we can try to hit that at the same time. And one, two, three. So it looks like the Droid X this time slightly faster than the Droid Incredible. Try another link. We'll zoom in on ringtones. So both very speedy phones, but again, the Droid X seems to be a second or two faster than the Droid Incredible. But there you have it, the Droid X versus the Droid Incredible by HTC. As always, we give you the facts and let you decide which phone you're going to pick, so be sure to comment in the comments and let us know which phone is right for you. I'm Ari from Wirefly.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button.